Hey guys, uh, Dr. Kyle here, and uh, just just sitting in the car, uh, just got done with the shift and got to see some awesome patients and help people, and um, you know, just get to love what we do. And uh, you know, one of the, the things I wanted to do throughout this uh, different challenges that we do is uh, give you things that help your mindset to really understand. Sorry, fire trucks driving by. To really understand or to really help you through a process because anytime we're trying to venture into something new like um, doing a 21 day reset or anything like that it's really difficult sometimes to um, keep motivated keep our mind strong we kind of look at things and, and, and you know when it comes to eating sugar or it comes to following a certain eating plan we tend to um, kind of say well, you know what's the point and, and things like that and we, and we get to a level where we're, we'll cheat on the plan or just go backwards and uh, many times it comes from that uh, lack of hope and issues with your expectations, right? So I think that controlling our expectations and things is very, very important. When we're doing something like a, a challenge and it's, you know, you have certain goals, certain things you want to make happen. Maybe you want to lose 10 pounds. Maybe it's whatever that is. And um, if you go through this challenge and you're halfway through and you're not losing any weight, then it literally gets to a point where you're like, oh, this isn't working. I'm not going to push myself through this because it's not working. And the truth is, it's not that it's not working. It might just not be the only answer. And I think the bigger thing about this is, is that if you're doing all the things, especially in this challenge that we have you doing, following a non-inflammatory diet, uh, taking supplements that help with inflammation, exercising, you know, working on your mindset, getting good sleep at night, if you're doing all those things, those are good things. Just if all your problems didn't go away, we just need to do more than that over time. But the first step is to realize you're doing the right things, okay? And so don't give up on them. And, you know, there's the story I always go back to is um, one I heard a while back, but it's from the Holocaust. And I think I read in a book on this story, and I think it's a true story, but um, I can't think of the guy's name. But uh, it was a guy that was captured in the, in the Holocaust and, and, you know, in a concentration camp. And, um, he tells a story about how a lot of people at the camp would say, by Christmas, we're going to be out of here. By Thanksgiving, we're going to be out of here. By this certain point, we're going to be out of here. And when you know Thanksgiving would come along and they didn't get out, they would lose some hope. And then Christmas would come along and they wouldn't get out and they'd lose some hope. And those people, all those people that were so you know optimistic about we're going to get out at this point, um, ended up not making it out and not surviving through the camp. Whereas this guy that was teaching, I think it, uh, talking, um, said his whole perception the whole time was, I know without a shadow of a doubt that I'm gonna get out of here because my God's good and I trusted in him, I have faith in him. And that get out of there might not have been survival, but he knew I'm gonna get out of there. And what it did is it kept him from losing hope because every day he got up and just did whatever he had to do knowing that one day at a time, I'm gonna just do what I have to do and eventually I'm gonna get out of this place. And that's the same thing with any health concern is that if you keep doing the things you need to do, keep researching, keep uh, being an investigator in your health, and know that one day it is going to change. And you gotta take it one day at a time and, and not look back and say, oh, this didn't work or things like that and get discouraged, but knowing it's a journey. It's a journey, the process is a journey. And um, as long as you stick with it and you stay consistent over time, consistency over time creates results. And that's just it. So keep doing what you're doing. You're doing the right things. It might take more than that, but you're doing the right things and moving in the right direction.